Hello, Pupils. How are you? Hope you're all healthy. I'm fine. Good. I'm welcoming you all to another virtual session. And I hope you've been studying your notes and preparing for the upcoming exam. Please endeavor to keep yourself safe and healthy in this pandemic period by washing your hands regularly with soap and water. Now, before we move into the new topic on that civic education, let us quickly dwell on what we've done in our previous class. In the previous class, we spoke on traffic regulations, road usage, isn't it? Now, we talk on what road usage is all about, how we can use the road, and what we mean by traffic regulations. Now, we said traffic regulations are those rules that guides what? That guides you on the road. So if at all you must use the road, you must abide by these rules and regulations. Is that taken? And failure to abide by these rules and regulations, what happens? It brings about accident. Accident. And that brings us into the topic for this section. And the topic is what? Is accident. Accident. Now, what is accident? Before we go into the definition of accident, let's quickly look at our lesson's objective. The lesson's objective says, at the end of the lesson, the pupils should be able to define accident, explain the term accident victims, state the causes of road accident, and the last but not the least, mention ways of preventing road accident. Good. Now, have a look into the objectives, which are the things we are expected to cover during the course of our discussion. Now, let's move into the subject matter, accident. What is accident? What is accident? I'm asking you, what is accident? I know you are all brilliant pupils. You've heard the word accident before, and you have an idea of what accident is all about. Yes, that thing you know. That thing you are thinking about right this moment is what we call accident. Now, to give it a definition. Now, he said an accident is an unplanned event. Do you plan for an accident? No, it is not possible. Is it possible for you to leave your house and say, I want to, I want to be involved in an accident? It is not possible. So an accident is an unplanned, unplanned event. It is an unplanned what? Event that happens suddenly. That happens what? Suddenly. That is another key word. Happens suddenly. The first one is that it is an unplanned what? Event. You don't plan for an accident. Now, the second one says it happens suddenly. That is within a twinkle of an eye. It happens without you even knowing what, when, or when, when it happened. You don't even have conscious of when, when the accident is about to happen. It happens so suddenly. It catches you unaware. Isn't it? Now, it happens suddenly and causes harm and damages to human beings and what? And properties. Now, I go again. An accident is an unplanned event that happens suddenly and causes harm and damages to human beings and properties. Accident can occur anywhere and any time. Now, looking at that definition, the definition is telling us here that an accident is an unplanned event. You don't plan for an accident. Those accidents you witnessed that you used to see by the roadside, it was never planned. Those victims never planned for it. You cannot leave your house and pray to God for you to be involved in an accident. It is not possible. Everyone wants to be safe. You all want to travel safely and come back safely, isn't it? Now, accidents are unplanned events that happens suddenly. It happens just suddenly without you knowing. Now, and causes harm. That is the major part of it. It causes harm and damages to human beings and property. That is, it kills people. It causes arms. It causes what are arms. Arm is not something good. Is arm something good? No. And damages. Damages to property and life. Isn't it? Now, they said accident can occur anywhere. Anywhere. Accident occurs anywhere on the road. In the house, in the church, in the mosque, in anywhere you can think of. Accident happens in the bedroom, in the toilet, in the kitchen, in the dining room, anywhere, any part 
anywhere people stay, as that happens there. And at any time, it happens any time. There is no particular time specified for what, set aside for, for accident. Accident can occur any time and any moment. Now, let's look at the second one we have on that definition. It said, when an accident occurs on the road, it is called road accident. That is, don't forget, I, I told you earlier on that, accident can occur anywhere. It can happen anywhere, in your house, in your kitchen, in the toilet. So we have domestic accidents, the ones that happen within your house. Now, we have the ones that happen on the road, that occur on the road. These are the accidents we call what? Road accident. Road accident. Road accident is what? When an accident occurs on the road, it is called road accident. Now, road accident can occur between a moving vehicle and a road user on foot. Listen carefully. It says road accident can occur between a moving vehicle and a road user on foot. Do not forget that an accident can occur between somebody that is driving a car and somebody that is walking on foot. You are using the road, but not in your car, but on foot. And I warned you in the previous class, doing traffic regulations, that what you should, one of the traffic regulations we have is that you should use a what? Zebra crossing or overhead bridge whenever you find yourself on major roads. So whenever you are using major roads, please do not use major roads anyhow. You use the overhead bridge or zebra crossing. Failure to do that brings about what? Accident. Failure to do so brings about what? Accident. That's what we call what? Road accident. Road accident can occur between a moving vehicle and a road user on foot. Good. Now, another one is that it could also be between two or more vehicles. It could also be between what? Two or more vehicles. That is, two or more vehicles. Vehicles colliding with each other. You see them on the road. When you are traveling, you see cars eating each other, involving themselves in one form of accident or the other. Is that also that? So we know as what well as accident. Now, let's now look into the second subtopic, which says accident victims. Accident victims. Who are accident victims? Now let's look at accident victims. It said here that accident victims are those involved in accident. Anyone involved in an accident is known as what accident victim. Is that taken? Is that understood? Anybody, be it an adult, a young person, a male, a female, old, youth, whatsoever person that is involved in an accident, the person is referred to as what? An accident victim. Anyone who is being knocked down by a car, a, a tricycle, even motorcycle, is known as what? Known as what? An accident victim they are helpless people who need attention and care look at the woman in this diagram this is the diagram of an accident victim she needs help isn't it yes she's helpless she cannot save herself she has been knocked down by, an, by, 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 by a car so she needs help they are that's why they call them helpless people they are helpless they cannot help themselves and they need attention urgently urgent for that matter they need attention and what and care is that taking accident victims are involved in an accident they are the ones who are involved in an accident and they are helpless people who need what attention they need attention and what and care you need to take care of them you need to help them how do you help them by taking them what to the nearby hospitals rendering first aid rendering first aid is that taking on that those are the ways you can help them whenever you see them is that taking good now let's now look into the set on that subtopic that says causes of road accident what are the causes of this road accident we've been discussing what road accident is all about but what are the causes the following are the causes of road accident on our roads what are the causes we are about looking into the into those causes now the first one says answering answering or making calls while driving and answering or making calls while driving. Now, you are in your car, you are driving your car, and you are putting your phone, or you have a call. You are answering the call while you are driving. It is prohibited. It is not good. 
for you to be able to be driving and answering a call. You don't use your cell phone. Look at what this man is doing in this diagram. He is driving with one hand and receiving call with the other hand. It is very, very good. It can cause what? Accident. It can what? It can lead to what? Accident. What happens when you receive call and you are driving is that you lose attention, you lose focus. Because whatever the person is telling you, you'll be focused on that thing. You will not be focused on where you are going or people around you or people in front of you again. Is that taking? So you don't receive calls, you don't answer calls when you are driving. Is that taking? Just imagine you picking a call while driving and you receive a bad news. You know what can happen when you receive the bad news? You can just lose control of the car and that will, that will mean a fatal accident. It will result into a fatal accident. So the best thing to avoid such thing is to what is to not pick the call at the call at all. Don't pick the call in the first place. If you don't pick the call in the first place, you wouldn't have known what and what is the content or what the person who is calling is about telling you. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know whether it's a bad news or a good news. Is that taking out? So don't pick that call. You can actually pick it when what when you get to where you are going. Is that taking? So even if I thought you must pick a call, you can as, as well use your headphone. Is that taking out? You can use what your headphone. Those ones are more preferable than you using your hand, losing focus, using one hand to drive and using one hand to what to pick your cell phone. Now look at this second diagram. This is somebody that is driving. Can you see him? He is driving and he is texting. This one is even worse than the first person who is receiving call. This one is not receiving call. This one is texting. He is sending a text message, which means that he is using his hand to what to text. And you know, if you must text anyone, you must look at the phone while when texting, because you cannot be texting and be looking at at, at your phone because you will be focused on what on the screen of the phone, trying to what to text the person. It is very very dangerous. It is very 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 dangerous. You don't do this when driving. You don't do this when driving. Even if you must do this, what to do is to what is to park. You do what you park whenever you are in your daddy's car, and you see that a call comes in. You notice a call comes in, and your daddy is trying to pick it while driving you. Tell him, please, dad, don't pick it. Please, park. You stop the car first. When you stop the car, you pick it. You pick the call, and you move. Is that taken? That is the best way to work, to receive call. Whenever you are driving, you stop. You stop the car, you receive the call before you continue with the journey. Is that taken out? Good. Another cause of accident on our road is over speeding. Imagine you are in a car. I told you in the last class, you are in a car, you are seeing this speedometer reading 190. That is suicide mission. Your dad or your mom is on a suicide mission. Your dad is driving you and you are seeing. You, you, I told you that whenever you are in your daddy's car, or your mommy's car, or anybody's car, and you should always pay focus on what on the speedometer. The one that is reading the speed of the car. Whenever you are seeing the long red hand pointing to 100, 120, 140, alert the driver. Tell the driver to please stop or slow down. Is that taking? Because whenever you see somebody driving as high as 170, 180, that is suicide mission. That can cause accident, a fatal one for that matter. A fatal accident. Please raise alarm. Do not look and keep moot. Do not keep quiet. Is that taking on? The, can you see the diagram I'm having here? This is a result of not slowing down, over speeding. This is a result of over speeding. You can see it now. The car went and hit a pole. A pole. Can you see the speed limit indicated there? The speed limit is what is 35. That is 35 km per hour. 35 km per hour. But the man, the driver, fails to what? To obey or abide by those rules by over speeding and you see the end result. The end result is a fatal accident. Eating the pole is that taking out. These are some of the cause of what of road accidents. Avoid it. Another one is the third one is drunk driving or driving or drinking and driving. Drunk driving or drinking and driving. This is very, very, very dangerous. You don't try this. How can you be driving and you be drinking? You are driving and you are holding gold bag. 
you are driving and you are holding Chelsea, it is very, very prohibited. It is prohibited. You don't do it while driving. You see our parents when they are driving, or our colleagues, or our uncle, our relatives when they drive us, you see them with one alcohol or the other, in the, either in the in leather, is a small leather, or the ones in plastic, small plastic, drinking it before even going into the car to start driving. It is very dangerous. Whenever you observe that your your parents or anybody close to you have just taken anything that is alcoholic before going to the car, please come down, tell them you are not traveling with them. Is that taken? Tell them you are not traveling with them because it is very, very dangerous. The end result is what you are seeing in this diagram. Can you see what just happened? This man, after drinking, he drank and he started driving. And you can see the end result involved in a fatal accident. Can you see what the policeman, the, the, the security agent is putting on the car? He said, don't drink and what and drive. That is a warning. Don't drink and drive because if you do, the end result is what you are seeing in that diagram. Accident. Accident. Please avoid it by what? By ensuring that you don't drink and drive. Another one is reckless driving. Reckless driving. What do you mean by reckless driving? It means driving wrong. You are driving anyhow. You are driving as if you are the only user of the road. You don't even mind anybody on the road. Instead of you get to a zebra crossing point, you, do, you don't slow down. You just beat everybody. That is reckless driving. You don't mind anyone on the road. It's reckless driving. It leads to accident. Imagine this one. He's driving. Look at the diagram. This man is driving, holding cell phone on one hand, holding you got on the other hand, drinking and pressing phone and driving. Not, he's not holding the steering. That is reckless driving. You can see this one now. He's driving so fast that he did not even notice that somebody that is about crossing the, the zebra crossing, using the zebra crossing. Can you see what the person is saying to the driver? He said, are you crazy? You want to kill people? That's the question. The man is asking the driver that question. He said, hey, are you crazy? You want to kill people? It's a question because the man is driving recklessly. So you don't drive recklessly when you are using the road. Is that taken out? Because if you do, it causes what? Accident. It causes what? Accident. Another one is running red lights or stop signs. Running red light or stop signs. When you see sign, the red light sign, that is your what? Your traffic light. I told you on your traffic light, the red light means what? Stop. That is a moving vehicle should what? Should stop. It means that a moving vehicle should stop. So when you don't stop, what happens? It causes accident. It causes what accident? Can you see what we have here? Can you see the red light? The red light is indicating that these cars should stop. They fail to stop. And you can see what they, they are about doing. They collided. That's accident. It causes accident. It causes accident. So whenever you see red light, you obey. Whenever you see a stop sign telling you to stop, you stop. You don't move ahead. You stop the car. Is that taken? Good. Now, the next subtopic says, Prevention of road accident. How can you prevent road accident? How can you prevent all these things you, you, you discussed? How can you prevent them? The first one is don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. That is, if you must drive, don't drink. If you must drive, don't drink so that you will not be involved in any form of accident. And if you must drink, don't drive. You take one and leave the other. You take one and leave the what the other. If you must drink, don't drive. And if you must drive, don't drink. Is that understood? The second one says, do not overspeed. Do not overspeed. That is, do not go 180, 200. Please, it is very dangerous. That is, obey the rules of speed limits. Obey the rules of speed limits. Obey the rules of speed limits. Is that taken? Another one is to obey all traffic rules and light. Obey all traffic rules and light. That is, if you obey the traffic rules, when you see red, you stop. When you see yellow, you get ready. And when you see green, you move. If you obey all these rules and regulations, there won't be any form of accident. Your life will be safe. The properties of people will be safe. Is that taken? You will not be involved in any form of accident or the other. If only you can obey these traffic rules. Is that taking crossing using the zebra crossing using the overhead bridges 
those are the traffic rules you must obey if you must what if you must avoid accident is that taken good the last one says do not make or receive call while driving these are the things that cause accident on the road they are the cause of accident on our road do not make or receive call while driving do not make call our drivers are fond of doing this when you enter one bus all these commercial bus drivers you see them when you enter those bus they receive calls anyhow we don't even keep to those rules and regulations why because our government are not working because if they are working they must if they've arrested so many of them they will they will sit up but because they are not arresting them they are not punishing them that is why the other thoughts they don't need to even keep to these rules and regulations again so please if you must drive please don't receive call and don't make calls is that again now the person is don't drink and drive do not over speed obey traffic lights and what do not receive or make calls is that understood if you obey all this you will be safe and the road will be safe for all to use is that understood in summary all road users must be very careful with the use of the road by following the various traffic regulations we have all road users that is if you must use the road you must be very careful with the use of the road by following what the various traffic regulations we have all the traffic regulations we have using the zebra crossing the overhead bridge obeying the traffic lights um what's it called obeying the the the, the stop signs the different traffic signs we have obeying everything those are the ways you want you can avoid accident on the road is that taken please do that ensure you always keep to this because your life is important my life is important your family's life is important so you have to always ensure that you follow these rules and regulations is that taken now let's move to the evaluation now we want to ascertain whether we all understood what we've been discussing now the person says what is accident yes what is accident we discussed that during the course of our lesson said that Accident are unplanned what event that happen suddenly that arms us, isn't it? The arm what they cause arm and damages to what to ourselves, to our life and to our properties, isn't it? Now write briefly on accident victims. Who are accident victims? I told you us that accident victims are those involved in what in accident. That people were involved in accident. Now the third one says state four causes of road accident. What are the causes of road accidents? We mentioned them. Receiving calls, is that also? Over speeding, not obeying the traffic lights, is that also? Reckless driving, all these things are causes of what road accident. Mention four of them. The last but not least says, mention three ways to prevent road accident. How can we prevent this road accident? By not doing all those things mentioned in question number three. That is, by not drinking before driving, by not making or receiving call, by not going on over speed. All those things are things that we do to what to prevent road accident. Now, I want to really tell us this, that our life is very, very germane to us. That it is very, very important to us. We must ensure that we keep ourselves safe and healthy by what obeying the traffic regulations. And likewise, following the advice of medical practitioners by what by washing our hands on a regular basis, actually every 20 minutes with soap and running water for 20 seconds. And in the absence of soap and water, you can as well use an alcohol-based sanitizer. Is that taken? Please keep yourself safe. Keep yourself safe. Avoid social gathering. Is that taken? Your life is very, very important. Please do well to study everything we've been doing from previous session to now. Please, your exams are fast approaching. Please, I pray we all do well and God save us from this virus in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. Till we meet again. I remain Mr. Olapadi Olalikom Moses. God bless you all. Bye.